A sinkhole in Baton Rouge was fixed, but it ended up making a much larger disaster. Two on your side talking to people living on either side of it. Brittany Weiss has their story. This is a mess. A large sinkhole. And it's right next to David Coco's and it's house. Much bi way bigger than it was before. It started off small, a dip he'd avoid while mowing the lawn. And I had to make sure that I didn't get, you know, one of the wheels in it because it was hard to get it out. He says the city was notified a while ago and did a smoke test, but the spot sat barricaded for a few years. They marked off a little, maybe two foot barrier. He says the area was stable until the fall of last year. That's when a crew came out. Without any warning, the city just showed up one day and dug this, like, I would say 12 foot by 14 foot excavation. Dug up the ground, mended the pipe. Poured all these like a pallet worth of quickrete. And filled it in. It was sodded over, but a few days later, sunk again. Evidently, they're still leaking. The city came out and put up a bigger barrier. The source of the problem, a drainage pipe that runs between properties. That pipe is connected to this storm drain right here. These houses haven't had any issues with water draining, but this side of the street has. In May 2021, all of these houses flooded. The same pipe dumps out here into Ward Creek. All along the way, there are trouble signs of a problem, like in Cal Simpson's yard. It brings concern over time what all this has done, where my concrete around my swimming pool has recessed some. Simpson is the neighbor on the other side of that sinkhole. He says over the last few years, this concrete has been moving. It's gotten to where now it's very noticeable. If the damage continues, Simpson wonders if his foundation is next and he can't afford to wait. I hope we get some, some kind of resolution soon. Coco agrees. Fix it. <laughs> Fix it. Before this hole keeps growing. To on your side in Baton Rouge, Brittany Weiss, WBRZ News 2. The city says it will look at that sinkhole this week.